Well, welcome back to my morning report analysis videos with me, Rich Perry, Mark Analyst, that hands at Marks on Friday, 27th of April, looking at dollar yen, which remains in this sort of trend higher. A little bit of a consolidation counter yesterday and sort of continued today, uh, but the trend is still strong on the dollar, and the dollar is outperforming across the majors. Not so much of a gain against the yen today, only sort of a handful of pips higher, but certainly I think you can still suggest that um, the outlook remains pretty positive. Um, the only sort of caveat to that is I think the RSI around 69.70 is this a limit of which the market could start to run out of a bit of steam it, I mean it has historically uh, sort of in 2017 anyway f uh, sort of struggled around that sort of level but previously to that November 2016 in that strong trending run it absolutely flew higher, didn't it? So it's it's a it's a bit of a, a difficult one to really gauge. I mean, I, I think that there is further legs in this move, and I think any sort of weakness will be bought into 107.90 to 108.30 is now a basis of, of support, and that's sort of around about where that uptrend comes in now. I mean, it would be sort of 100 pips back from here. So um, what you could see is the market basically just consolidating while whilst the uptrend sort of starts to catch up and the, that could sort of help to unwind a bit of momentum uh, in the near term. Um, and the hourly chart sort of reflects a sideways move really um, and the uh, you can already see these momentum indicators unwinding on the hourly uh, back towards sort of 40 on the RSI, back towards neutral on the uh, on the MACD lines as well. So uh, support around 108.90 area to 109 figure area seems to be a sort of a basis of support now. 108.55 interestingly uh, that's a, uh, a level to watch I think on the near term chart. If you do break 108.55 that sort of does suggest you're in more of a corrective near term uh, phase. You could see a retreat back towards that uptrend but uh, yeah for now I think we're still pretty pretty positive and this is just a, a market moving sideways rather than turning corrective um, and given how strong the dollar has been I think there is still that upside bias that uh, that continues to sort of flood through the market. Um, so I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.